Hey everybody, Steve here, checking back in. Boy, it's been a long time. It's been, what, three weeks now since the last, my last video, the ice cream video. What in the world have I been doing? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, that's what I'm going to tell you, because uh, this, uh, this was a tough week. This past week was uh, about as hard as I've worked in the last 25 years, uh, so... And I'll, I'll get more into that in a second. But uh, I was, uh, I just finished my airline transport pilot certificate. That's what I just finished. And I've got it hat in hand. I passed. Uh, not hat in hand, but uh, certificate in hand. <clears throat> so what, what I was doing um, uh, is part of the all the certificates that you need to get to become a, an airline pilot. It all starts with single engine pilot, private pilot. And you work your way up. Uh, to multi-engine, so more so single engine obviously is one engine. Multi-engines, two engines or more. Um, you get that certificate, and then you have to get a commercial certificate, uh, which involves some other check rides and other other things. Now, now all of that was kind of folded in with my Air Force training that I got back in 1995. Uh, so they, what you could do was to go test. And they would the uh, FAA would give you a, a multi-engine uh, commercial certificate with an instrument rating. So I got that coming out of pilot training. That was in 1995, and that was the last thing I really messed with with that for the next 25 years. So all of that goes together. You have to do all of these things to to if you want to be an airline pilot, and it and if you do it, you're, if you don't do it through the military, it's it's long and expensive, and it takes it takes a long time and a lot of work and a lot of flying. <clears throat> the military, you you you're basically doing the same things except that the you're you're working you're flying for the Air Force is what I did. So <clears throat> I I. Got out. I decided, and you know, I've, sh I've shared videos where I've talked about, hey, what's next, and what's the next thing. So I, I decided, did a lot of through a lot of praying, and everything else, that I'm going to go do the airline thing. And I talked it over with the ravishing Mrs. Ritter, and and uh, so that's the road going down, right? So decided to do that. I, I went back all the way back in in July and August and decided, okay, this is what I'm going to do. So I signed up for what I, what I, the last piece that I needed was an airline transport pilot, ATP. I needed that certificate to be able to, to apply for, for the airlines. So uh, the problem is, is, is back in, they changed the rules back in like 2012 or something like that, where uh, they, they, they added some things to it. So they, they, there was a period of time where they were going to grandfather military pilots uh, under the, the simpler, easier system. And I, I at the time, I was like, well, I'm not even doing the airline thing, so I didn't even worry about it. And I'm looking back now, I wish I did. But, but uh, anyway, the, here's the new system. So now what they've got, it used to be you'd go do three or four flights and then take a check ride, you're done. And take the written test and and you're done. Now they've added a week of classroom and simulator instruction, written test, and then a flying portion. So there's three parts to it. And that's what I had to do. So two weeks ago, I left and went to Atlanta uh, at the Delta Training Center there in Atlanta. And I uh, went through a week of class. So there was nine, I think nine, nine of us in the class, uh, maybe more, maybe there's like 12 uh, or 10. No, there was 10 of us in the class. And we, we went through classes. They talked about accidents, studies, you know, why do these things happen? Accidents, um, uh, training of, of missing out on things. There were some instructions. There were quizzes along the way. And it was fairly low threat. And uh, the tests were, were easy. And you look at the review questions and then take the quiz. And, and it was all fine. And then at the end of the week, we paired up and got to go into a simulator. So I'd, I'd spent the last two years teaching C-17 sim, so I'm going, okay, this will be fine. Well, it was an Airbus sim. It was an Airbus 330, which is a, a two-engine um, commercial airliner simulator. So Airbus is, is 
fairly different than than Boeing, but I'll tell you, it's it was a uh, it was very cool. It was like flying a spaceship that thing, and the, it has instead of having a yoke like Boeing planes do, it has a side stick. So that was that was kind of interesting getting used to that. Um, but we had to go fly around and do some things and 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 look at some different things. So we did two, we did three three sims. So we finished that, and that was on Saturday night. We finished and we're done. And then Sunday, the um, uh, let me see what what day was that? Sunday the eleventh. Uh, Sunday the eleventh. I left Atlanta and drove up to Pikeville, North Carolina, which is just, just north of Goldsboro, which is where Seymour Johnson Air Force Base is. There's a little uh, um, executive airport there uh, with a 5,000-foot runway, and, and the, that's this company called Mill to ATP uh, operates out of there, and that's where I went. And the, the nice thing about this company is you, you pay them this lump sum amount, and they they give you all the the prep stuff you need and everything else. So so I got a lot of the questions ahead of time. I, I was I, I thought that I was ready, but not studied as much as I should have. Uh, more about that in a second. So anyway, I drive up there on Sunday, get there Sunday night, and then first thing Monday morning, like first thing like five thirty in the morning, first thing Monday morning. They're like, okay, we're gonna the class starts today, but we're gonna bring in early. You can take your ATP written. So that's part two of the ATP. There's a, a hundred question test drawn from a bank of a thousand questions that well, it was more like eleven hundred questions that that I had to to pass seventy or above. So I had I'd taken uh, I'd, I'd studied, studied, studied. I'd spent the the two weeks before studying looking through the questions, studying, studying, working through them, making sure I understood, you know, everything. And I ended up making a 98 on test. So that was, that was cool. So I had been geared totally towards that test because I don't, if you fail the test, um, you know, that's, that's not good, right? <laughs> so, so I'm fo totally focused on that. So now the test is over. It was like seven o'clock, like, whoo, okay, test done. I passed. Great. Awesome. All right, here we go. Right into the course. Now, this course was like streak of lightning course, and they made it real clear. And they told all, in all fairness, they said you got to you you need to study ahead of time, or it's going to be a long week. And and I had not studied enough, and it was a long week. I mean, I have not worked that hard since Air Force pilot training. Now, Air Force pilot training was thirteen months, and and almost the entire time of that 13 months, you feel stupid and behind. And, and, and there's points in there where you, you finally catch up and you feel like, okay, now I got it, you know, but, but, uh, this whole week was behind and it was just, oh my God, it was, it was up praying. I mean, it was, it was rough. It was rough. And, and I, I just worked through the, the first day I'm exhausted because I had not slept well the night before. I'd studied, 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 got up at 5.30, now I'm done. And then, you know, mentally you feel, okay, oh, got a weight off my shoulders. I passed that test. Well, now I've got to jump right into this course. And so I, the first day I'm, I'm, I'm barely hanging on all the lectures and stuff and there, and there, here's all the questions that we had to, I had to do ahead of time, which I had done ahead of time. Thank God. But I've not looked at for two months. So, and so I'm barely hanging on. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay awake and then trying to keep up. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm okay. And I, I start realizing, oh man, this is a, this is a streak of lightning course here. And it is. And so I go home that, that evening and I'm just wore out, go back to the hotel room and go back to sleep. And I, 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 I try to fall asleep and I'm like, well, I'm going to get up. I'm going to study a little bit. I study for about an hour and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to sleep now. So next morning we get up and we show up and hey, it's time to fly. So there was three, three airplanes and here's a picture of what the airplane looks like. It's a Piper Seneca two and it's a two engine plane. It was basically designed for doctors and lawyers to, to fly around. It's pretty easy to fly. And it was a lot of fun to fly. And so I, uh, uh, th th that was the plane. So 
we there was there was three airplanes. There were nine of us going through. So three people per airplane. So they say, here's your airplane that you're going to fly all week. So you get to learn it and everything else. You're not hopping around to different airplanes because the avionics were a little different in each one. So I get in there. I go through um, the first day. I was the third guy to fly. So I got to study a little bit in the morning. And then, you know, while one guy flew, the other guy was sitting in the back watch. So I, the second guy flew and I was in the back watching. And I'm going, I'm realizing, I'm like, oh, oh, man. I, I, you know, the things we were doing, all the little mnemonics and things that people use, you know, little pre-check things that we do and all. And I'm going, oh, no. And I saw so that first flight, I was like, I was barely, I was barely hanging on. And I, I got in I, when it was my turn to fly. And I'm like, you're going to have to, you're going to have to talk me through this. I, I, I need to chair fly this, which means sit there and, and think through everything you got to do and practice, practice, practice. Till you can't get it wrong. And I've not done any of that. So that first flight was a little rough. And so I, I felt so bad. This, so I went back to my room that 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 night, and I'm I, I'm looking at the next flight, chair flight, chair flight, chair flight, practice, practice, practice for like five hours that night. Second flight went much better. Felt a little bit better about it all. And then third flight went fine too. So I was going into my check ride thinking, okay, so it's three flights, and then you take a check ride. So they you, basically you take off, instrument departure, go hold fly an instrument approach to a to a circling approach to a missed approach to a touch and go to to you know fly out go hold uh, hold and wait and then come in and fly another instrument approach which are procedures altitudes air speeds touch and go missed approach go out to the area um, practice area you climb up to like four thousand feet and then we practice stalls we practice steep turns and an unusual attitudes. So you would unusual attitudes is basically how to transition to instruments and recover the airplane. And when when you're in a in a, in a position the airplane's not supposed to be in, so they would have us close our eyes and go, okay, take close your eyes, put your left, put your head on your left shoulder, and and give me a left turn. So you, you know you throw your whole equilibrium off. Your eyes are closed, and you end up like nose low, you know power up, you're, you're descending and they go, okay, recover. And you have to open your eyes, go right to the instruments, recognize what's going on, roll the airplane, come back up. It's, it's, it messes you all up, but it teaches you to, as a pilot to come on instruments and trust instruments. Right. So in that anyway, so I get to through the third flight, I was feeling pretty good. I, I felt ready and I got to my check ride and I, I was, I was one of the last ones to go. And I checked on Saturday, the actually Sunday, the 18th. And I went up and did that. And it was rough. Uh, it was rough. And it was one of those things when you're on a check ride and you mess something up. And you're just like, it's hard. I've done enough check rides that when, when you mess something up, your mind just starts going, okay, well, that's it. I'm done. You know, and it's tough to keep going. And then evaluators like made it real clear, said, look, if, if you mess something up, until I say, okay, the check ride's done, you, you didn't pass. Until I say that, keep going, keep fighting. And and like I, I've talked about before, I mean, to keep fighting, to keep going, um, it was rough. And 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 it was it, it's tough to compartmentalize and go. I can't I can't think about the last landing. I always used to tell the boys that when they were going through flight school, you can't think about your last landing. You have to think about your next landing. And, and that was true. And I, that whole flight, it was about an hour and a half check ride. And the whole flight, it's just like, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. And finally, so come back. The last approach was a single engine um, approach coming down glide path. There was a crosswind. So the, the nose is cocked off to the side a little bit. And you have to straighten it out and turn and bank. And, and I landed it, and rolled out, and it was done. And uh just a just a relief. I wanted to do better on it than I did. Um, I wanted it to be perfect, like like every pilot does. But that I had not flown an airplane, flown physically flown an airplane in, in two years, and that was that was just a single engine plane that I flew with my brother in law, and I had probably logged about twelve, no, about eighteen hours in a single engine airplane, and then before that was two thousand eleven. So. Uh, 
I was pretty rusty. And so, but, but the good thing is I have enough experience from, from my time Air Force flying. It came back pretty quick and it was like a lot like riding a bicycle and I, I flew pretty good approaches of solid. Anyway, ATP's done. And, um, I, anyway, I, uh, I'm glad that was, that was rough. And I got back for the first couple of days after I got home. I, uh, you know, I'm sure Elaine saw it. I was just shell shocked, like, like just, oh, man, that was a, that was a workout. That was hard. But I'm glad it's over with now. So everything's out of the way now. I can start putting together my applications for for airlines and all. And I've got a few that I've got my eye on that I'm really leaning towards. Reached out. I'm hoping to hear back something. Everybody's kind of in the Christmas uh, lull right now. So hoping that things going to pick up after the new year. Um, at the tail end of this video, hang around. I've got a couple of little short little clips that I took of, of some stuff around the airport there. Um, anyway. Uh, that, that's what I've been doing. I haven't been posting videos. I'm sorry. I'm back now. Uh, Bella's home. I'm hoping to cook up something a little bit with her. Maybe some Christmas treats. Uh, we'll see. But uh, anyway, that's where I've been. And I'm uh, back and I look forward to visiting with you guys some more. Uh, if you have any questions about what I did or anything else, if anything was confusing, whatever, uh, just leave a question down below. I'll be glad to, to answer it. So anyway, uh, here, stand by. Here's some here's some videos for from airplanes around the airport. And uh, when the when those videos are done, we'll we'll see you next time. Take care. Hey, so we were out there waiting around to to go fly. And this is a local group of pilots. Uh, a lot of them are retired military, uh, had been fighter pilots, whatever. That still just have a love of aviation. And they all they you know each of these guys that's their own private airplane. And they, you know, they, they'll go up and fly acrobatics or whatever, but they get together and they do flybys and things like that to honor, um, like they were going to do a flyby of a, um, of a cemetery and they do flybys for parades and things like that. It's just a bunch of people that love to fly, that get together. So these guys were all taxiing out together and, uh, they're getting ready to take off and, uh, so it was a nice day. They're they're all taking off minimal interval takeoff here, and then they're gonna join up together and uh, go fly a do a flyby. And I'll show you that here in a second. But uh, yeah, they they so one guy starts rolling down the runway, count to count to ten, and then the next guy starts, and they just so you have you know two to three airplanes on the runway at the same time on takeoff roll out uh, so you, you don't see that in the civilian world <laughs> but here they are rejoining into a formation and all these guys they get together ahead of time these guys know what they're doing they're all a lot of them are were fighter pilots previously this guy tail and charlie they're trying to catch up a lot of them fly uh, commercial they're commercial pilots and they just get together on the weekends like that they'll they'll brief it up together and plan it all out and they have all the contingencies and everything else. What if anything's a problem, this is the way you break out. Here's your position in the formation. They were joining up. Looks like he's going to hit somebody, but he doesn't. He gets right up in there. That was pretty sweet. So like I said, these guys were, I think the majority of them were fighter pilots and used to flying fingertip formation like that. That's a little closer than we flew in the, than in the C-17 formation, but, uh, same principle, really. Little small airplanes, and there they are forming up, and they're going to go fly a flyby somewhere. So that was kind of neat. It's neat to see. Nice little air show. We're waiting to go fly. Guys, just a little out of position there. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next video. Take care.